Hi Capricorn, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing a general January love reading for you. For those of you who are looking for messages and guidance in love and relationships, we're going to draw one card today from the Romance Angels deck from Doreen Virtue. Then we're going to do five cards from the Rider Weight deck and then one card for advice at the end, guys. So let's begin with your reading and here we go. What do we have? Coming up for Capricorn for January 2022. What is coming up? Let's see what your message is for this month. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this is a message for a lot of you singles or those just coming out of a relationship. Release your ex, guys. Capricorn, your ex needs to go. <laughs> what do you need to know here? Gosh, that's kind of hard on some of you, right? Capricorn, what is going on here for January? So this is for a very select few Capricorns, but this message is definitely for you guys, okay? Release your ex. Or some of you who are in a relationship Possibly even holding on to an ex energy. That's also possible. Okay. Guys, we're going to shuffle here and I'm going to draw a card. Let's see what's coming up for Capricorn for January in love. Let's draw one here. We have the King of Swords in reverse. So this could be an individual, guys. This could be an air sign. This could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could be your energy as well. So you may have to cut someone out. Okay. Or this could be someone who wasn't serving you well. And you guys were arguing a lot. There's a lot of control issues and mind games and jealousy. This could have been the situation that you came from. Maybe a lot of fighting. Maybe someone had too much control over things. Maybe someone was manipulative and you guys had to deal with that. Could be you maybe that was manipulative, okay? Whatever the reasons, this individual that you're dealing with now is someone you need to let go of, okay? What else is coming up for Capricorn? What else is coming up for Capricorn? We have the Nine of Pentacles. So, some of you in January will be more focused on yourself and your security and your needs and buying new clothes, going out and enjoying a good time with your friends and family, maybe getting that car that you wanted or getting a new apartment, something to that end, because you've been through a lot already with the King of Swords in reverse here. And it's time to treat yourself. Maybe you feel like you deserve it now, okay? And it's a new year, so why not? Guys, this card fell out. It is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, this could be your energy. Could be you, Capricorn, with the Earth here, Queen of Pentacles. Could be Taurus, could be Virgo you're dealing with as well. This could mean, so we have here the Nine of Pentacles which is kind of your energy to kind of enjoy things and that security. And then we have this, which I believe is you and not the energy of being uh, overspending. Could be a little bit of that energy for you, but it seems like you are still stuck. Okay. And you're thinking about things from the past. That's not very practical. Not especially if you're moving on and doing things for yourself, right? What else is coming up for Capricorn? We have the Four of Cups in reverse. So guys, this could mean either someone was rejected or someone refused an offer of love or someone didn't see something coming or someone's ignoring somebody now. For some of you, it could be your ex doesn't want to speak to you. For some of you, it's your ex wants to speak to you, but you don't want to speak to them. 
Okay. The time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. So it doesn't mean you have to block them completely. This message is more about putting them and their needs aside so that you can take care of yourself and showing to the world that you're now available again and you're not hung up on one specific individual, okay? So, guys, what else is coming up for you? Capricorn. We have the Seven of Swords. So, the situation could be this. Maybe someone doesn't want to have contact with the other individual. Someone's avoiding the other person. But someone is being sneaky. Maybe, uh, for some of you, there could be some cheating involved here, okay? Where you don't forgive them and they've been sneaky or maybe they've been dishonest with you. And maybe that's why you're avoiding them right now, okay? And the best thing is release this negative energy, okay? Like, yeah, you want to hold on to this person, but is it really worth it? No, it's not. Yeah, something, someone did something to you, tried to get away with it, but they were either caught or this blew up and that's the reason why you guys can't be together anymore, okay? This is very specific for some of you Capricorns. This is what's going on for you, okay? All right, let's draw an advice card today for you. What does Capricorn need to know? Guys, we have the Ace of Wands. So you need to take on a new opportunity here. You need to take action, start doing things, start moving on. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to figure out a way to clear out this X energy, okay? Maybe clean up all the old photos and get rid of things. Stop being too tied up with this person. Start going out with other people and friends. This will take your mind off things, okay? But you need to do things in order to keep yourself busy to get you out of that stage. It's gonna take some time for, the, for you Capricorns, for some of you who this resonates with, okay? It's very specific, but it's a very clear message for you guys. So, for anyone this doesn't resonate with, please guys, remember I'll have other readings coming up for you. You know you like the vibe, so please continue to join me here. Like and subscribe and hit notifications. I'll be having more videos up soon. Uh, and this is it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye for now.